Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be bringing you my December TBR. Now usually I don't do TBRs because I'm terrible at sticking with them. I just never follow through with what I say I'm going to read, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, that's just who I am. I'm a chaotic person. I don't tend to stick to plans at all. Um, this month is going to be a very busy month for me. I am going to be working a lot, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get through. I think most of these I will try and push through on audio because um, my commute to and from work is going to be consistent so at least I know that I can put in time to an audio book. Um, physically reading I'm not entirely sure because I tend to work six days a week up until Christmas because my work doesn't work public holidays and everything has to go out before public holidays because careers don't work on the public holidays or over Christmas so it makes it a bit difficult so we basically have to get everything out before Christmas. Um, so I have five books to talk about today. I don't know how many I'm going to get through, but I guess we'll see towards the end of the month how it goes. But I do have plans. So I know Sarah from Commas and Ampersands has talked to me about perhaps starting some of my series to help overcome my physical TBR. Because this year she absolutely blitzed it and smashed out her physical TBR. And that's something that I'm very interested in doing next year. I do have over 150 books on my physical TBR and I have only just read over 100 books so far this year so I don't think I can even finish it next year but I'm definitely dedicated to smashing out almost all of it next year. That's going to be my main priority and main goal for me for next year. But in saying that I'm just going to get through these books really quickly and I don't really know much about them so I'm just going to just going to show you what they are. So the first one I have is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Um, I know Supernova, the third book in the series, just came out this month or last month. So I am really excited to get to this one. I know that now that there are all three of them around, I can smash and binge through all of them. I don't like waiting for series. So now I know that it's out, I can definitely get to this one. Um, I have read a lot of her other work. I've read <clears throat> Heartless and I've read The Lunar Chronicles. I absolutely loved them. So I'm really excited to get this to this one. Um, I don't know much about it. I think it's like a virtual reality kind of like Ready Player One-ish-esque type of book. But it definitely does intrigue me and I'm super excited to get to it. The next one I have is Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kamira. Um, I, I've heard so many good things about this and I don't really know much about it. And I don't want to know much about it going in. But I think this one's definitely going to like help me get through a few of the fantasy novels I have and just break up a bit of that for me because I know this one is a contemporary so it should be nice and quick read for me over the Christmas holiday break. Now the next one I have is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I have a plan to do a reading vlog for this trilogy over the five day Christmas break. I feel like I can definitely smash out all three books over that time depending on how busy I am. I should be fine. I don't have like a lot of plans with family, but I think that I can probably smash it out and do a bit of a reading vlog. I'm interested to see how this one goes, considering it's quite an old novel. I think it's 2015, or is it earlier than that? I want to say 2015. 2010. So it is almost 10 years old. I just want to see what kind of relationship, what kind of tropes are in here, what it was like to read a YA novel 10 years ago. So I'm interested to see how this one goes. The next one I have is Legend by Sarah Lou. Uh, Sarah Lou? Mary Lou? I don't know where that came from. Um, I am definitely excited to get to this. I know this one is on audiobook from my library, so I can definitely just borrow it and breeze through these um, the series. I do have the other books as well. I'm mainly just concerned about reading this one this month and I know I can just binge out the others towards the um, end of, or the start of next year, sorry. So I don't actually even know that much about this one. I feel like I just want to go into it blind like I do most of my other books. So yeah, I'm very excited about reading this one. I've heard so many great things um, about Mary Lou. I haven't actually read any of her work yet despite how many books I own from her. But um, Cameron from the, who is the 
owner of the Beacon Book Box Company, has said that this is like one of his favourite series of all time. So I'm definitely intrigued into getting into this and seeing how I feel about it. And then the last book I have is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. Um, I do have all three and I have the special edition to book three because it was really cheap on Facebook. Um, it's again obviously another series that I want to start reading so I can smash out a lot of my TBR. I think that this is something that's going to be very interesting to me. I don't read much adult fantasy but I know ev Ooh, I know everyone loves this and I just I think because it has so much hype I'm a little bit nervous about going into it but I absolutely love Victoria Schwab's work. Um, everything I've read from her so far has blown me away. I just, I really like her. She's so real. I met her in person at a book convention and it was just like, she's such a sweetheart and I just, I really love it and I can't wait to get to this one, so. Yay! So let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books before and which ones you think that I should prioritise over some of the others. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next video. Bye!